Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a couple quick and easy ways to get information over to the support team. So if they're asking for a video recording of your screen, the best way to do it is Loom.com. Loom.com has a free five minute video that you can shoot. Uh, and this goes on forever. They don't ever end your account. You always have access to a five minute video. So one of the ways to do that is through the extensions up at the top here. So you can put a Loom.com extension in your browser, whether that's Firefox, Chrome, uh, Edge, anything else, you can put those up there. And then down at the bottom, you can also download it for your desktop. So there's a Loom um, desktop that you can put on there as well. And this one, you can set the recording so that you can have always 1080p recording so that it's nice crystal clear or 720p if you don't have access to the um, 1080. Just always watch and make sure it's not set to auto. Sometimes it'll shoot a video in a a uh, little bit of a blurry fashion. So loom.com is the best for creating videos. Like I said, it is free. Now, if you wanted to create a screenshot, you could check into Nimbus or Monosnap. Uh, they also have an extension up here. So if I click on the extension, it'll say, what do you want to capture on the screen? Let's just say the visible portion of the screen. Uh, we'll come in here and say, uh, let's put an ellipse around this part. That's what we're having trouble with. I can actually move this around so it fits better. I can make a little arrow here pointing up to that blurb and then I can also put some text in here if I said uh, here is the issue. I can move this around if I need to. You can also send this to Slack. You can download a PNG file. You can do a bunch of different options with it uh, once you hit done here. So uh, Monosnap is basically the same as Nimbus. It's just a personal preference on which one works better for you. Um, but definitely for the video recordings, I would definitely recommend Loom. So let me come up here and see if it'll let me record another video uh, while we're in here. Actually, let me come over to this screen and we'll hit Loom. And it's going to pop up. You can say, just record my screen. Don't worry about my webcam. Uh, down here, advanced features. You can look at those or pop those up if you don't want. Here's your microphone. And... Um, in here, you can set what kind of quality that you want on these videos. So once I hit start recording here, it's going to pop up and say, what do I want? Do I want the entire screen? Which I'll go ahead and say yes for this one. I'll click on it, say share. And now it's going to give me a countdown and it's going to start recording my screen. Now, as soon as I'm done recording this screen, I can hit this little checkbox here that says finish recording. I can also cancel and pause and do a bunch of other things, but let's go ahead and hit finish. It's going to open up this next screen with all my videos on it. I can change the name of that video and then I can just come up here and copy this link and as soon as I copy this I can just paste it over to the support team and I'm done. So this literally takes less than you know five or ten seconds plus the length of the video. Really easy way to get this information over. Videos really help us. Um, pictures worth a thousand words, videos are worth ten thousand words. We're able to see exactly what you're clicking on, exactly where you're at in the program and we're able to solve your issue ten to fifteen times faster. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the support team and we will help you get this started on your end. Have a great day.